I honestly thought when I started Cookie of the Month that some of you might get a little tired of cookies, but it is the exact opposite. All you guys want are more cookies. Thankfully, I can always find a cookie recipe and usually they are pretty good. I don't give you the bad ones, don't worry. And these are no different. They are really simple. You just kind of dump it all together, but they are really delicious. They're an old time soft brown sugar cookie. And let me tell you something, I want to eat them all because they melt in your mouth. I know you guys know the drill by now, but to start, you just wanna place some room temperature butter right into your stand mixer along with some brown sugar. I said these are brown sugar cookies, so obviously we're gonna use brown sugar. And if you ever listen to my videos, you know I love the flavor of brown sugar because it has a molasses flavor. That's what makes it brown. Cream that together until it is somewhat light and fluffy. This is never gonna get light and fluffy like regular white granulated sugar would because it is heavier. So it's always gonna be a little bit more dense and that is okay. So just mix it up until it's really well combined. I like to scrape down the bowl every so often just to make sure it's all mixing together. As you know, I'm using a smaller mixer because my other one's a little bit out of commission. So this one doesn't always scrape the sides the best. After you scrape down the side, just crack two eggs. I crack them into another bowl because somehow, especially when we are filming one of these, I always get shell in it. If you don't, kudos to you, but I always do. So I put them into another bowl just to make sure I can go in and take out that shell because you don't want that. And then I throw those right into the mixer. Just turn it on until it's well combined. And then this is where I usually would add vanilla. And you could totally do that, but to amp this up and change it up, I am adding some maple extract. Now you're probably like, um, who just has that? I know not everyone just keeps that on hand. So use your vanilla if you have it, but if you wanna live on the wild side, go out and get some maple extract. Honestly, do you know where I find it? At Target. And who doesn't want an excuse to go to Target? Cause you know you're gonna come out with a full cart anyway. So you might as well just throw the maple extract in there with everything else. And it's, it's so little that it doesn't take any room in your cart with all the decorative objects you're gonna need. Target needed. After you add that flavoring and it is well mixed, you can just keep on going. You wanna add in some buttermilk? That's right, I'm not gonna alternate this. Just add it all in, mix it up. It's gonna look curdled, it's gonna look gross. It's gonna probably look wrong. Don't worry about it. Scrape the bowl if you need to, and yes, I need to. And then you just wanna add your dry ingredients. The flour, and it's quite a bit of flour, but that's delicious because it's quite a bit of cookies. Yeah, you're not gonna complain when these are done. Then some baking soda and baking powder. And of course, like with anything sweet, a little bit of salt. Mix that all together until it's well combined and then scrape down the sides of the bowl. Scrape off the paddle too. And honestly, you know what? On TV and on these videos, I try to always show you that like, scrape it down with a spatula. I don't actually ever do that. So you know what, use your hand. My hands are clean and I'm not serving these to you guys so you don't have to worry about them being gross. Just scrape off your paddle however you want to. Pull the bowl off and then make cookies onto parchment lined baking sheets. You definitely want to parchment line your baking sheets with these because they do kind of stick because they're extra soft. And let's be honest, use a cookie scoop or ice cream scoop because that makes the cleanest and best looking cookies. Once you have all your cookies made, just pop them into the oven. Honestly, I do find baking one pan at a time makes the most consistent cookie. Otherwise, sometimes they'll kind of cook unevenly. After it is puffed and set, and if you, you can kind of touch it with your finger and if it springs back, it's done. Pull it out of the oven and let it cool. Uh, while the cookies are cooling, you can make your frosting. <laughs> if you know me, you know my favorite frosting is brown butter frosting. Well, honestly, my favorite ingredient is brown butter. It takes on a whole nother flavor. It is amazing. You can use it in anything and frosting, seriously, like just make me a bowl of this frosting and we are best friends. Let me make the frosting. I kind of just, woo, okay. You just wanna melt your butter and slowly brown it over medium to medium high heat, but you don't wanna burn it. So slowly swirl the pan if you need to. After the foam subsides, really watch it because it is gonna turn brown in a few seconds. After it's turned brown, remove it from the heat immediately and add some powdered sugar and start mixing. 
Mix in a little bit of buttermilk. That's just gonna smooth it out and really help it be creamy. And you can kind of go back and forth between buttermilk and sugar if you need to get the right consistency. And just to give it the same flavor as the cookies, I'm adding that maple extract again. If you ran out and need another bottle, back to Target. Always a good idea. Mix it until there are no lumps, because I didn't sift it this time. And I usually don't, even though you probably should, because there are oftentimes lumps, but I just mix it extra vigorously with the whisk. Just use a spoon and put it on your cookies. I like to do it extra thick. You can do it a little bit thinner if you want, but I like all the frosting I can get on them. After your cookies are frosted, they are ready to eat. And let me tell you something, you're gonna want to eat these multiple times, all the time. But if not, as all my cookies usually do, they freeze beautifully. Pop them in the freezer in an airtight container if you need to, but I really don't think you're gonna need to because you're gonna wanna eat them. And all your friends are gonna wanna eat them because they're that good. An old time cookie with modern flavors, and let me tell you something, I cannot wait to find out how you like these. If you agree and like this video, make sure to click like below and click subscribe to the Great Boxwood channel because I want all of you to find these awesome recipes because I make them for you. Share it around on Instagram, on Facebook. I love to hear from you. And until next time, eat some cookies.